Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nisar Vikadam and today we are going to look at another wonderful use case with the integration of UiPath AI Center and UiPath Apps. I know you are interested and excited to look at the use case. So before we jump on the use case and how we did it and what is the actual intention of this use case, let me give you a quick thanks to each and every subscriber is because we have crossed 1,600 subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Uh, it means a lot to me. And apologies for the late, late video that I'm recording right now is because uh, I, I was caught up with a lot of work, but I will make sure that every week I come up with two videos at least. Okay, so thank you so much for, keep, for watching. Subscribe and share my YouTube channel with your friends so that we gain the popularity of the subscribers. So thank you so much. And I'm looking forward uh, that you like the video. So do like, share, and subscribe. <clears throat> so before uh, we directly jump on the use case, we will talk about what is the intention behind our today's use case. So this use case is about predicting whether a person is vulnerable to having a stroke. Okay, so what is stroke? Stroke is a brain stroke, uh, which uh, causes death. And the death rate due to the stroke is very high. So when I researched about it in 2018, as you can see on screen, one in every six deaths from cardiovascular disease was due to stroke. Every four minutes, someone dies of stroke. Every year, more than 7,95,000 people in the United States itself have stroke. I looked at the uh, statistics here in the strokecenter.org where you can see US statistics tells that 1,40,000 people die each year from stroke in the United States. And in Canada, if you see 7% of all the death rates is stroke. So worldwide strategy, statistics, if you look at here, according to WHO, 15 million people suffered stroke worldwide each year, which is not a less number, which is a very high number, which is a very big number, uh, if, you, if you consider the population. So uh, that's why we are actually focusing on this use case very keenly. And that's where the idea struck my mind and uh, I came up with this use case. So in our use case, what we are going to do. So today in our use case, what we are going to do is we are going to predict from certain parameters whether a person is vulnerable to have a stroke or not so that he can take preventive measures, he can take medicines and he can take uh, you know prevention uh, from to refrain from having a stroke, right? So to do that, the very first important information that I needed was a data set. And that's what I got from Kaggle. So if you look at this data set, thanks. Thank you so much for this data set. So, uh, so this data set is about the stroke prediction data set where 11 clinical features for prediction stroke events. And as you can see here, the context is also according to the WHO, stroke is the second leading cause of the death globally. Responsible for approximately 11% of total death in world, and that is why this data set is really important. And I downloaded this data set, and uh, I have worked on this data set a lot. So, ideally, what we do in order to train the data set with a machine learning model, we have to first of all select appropriate data set and appropriate model. So, the data set we have already got, I will share this link in the chat section and the comment section. Also, the model which we need to select for, for this data set. So, I selected TPOT AutoML classification model in UiPath AI Center. Now, what is TPOT AutoML classification model? So this model is actually a generic tabular data classification model. TPOT is nothing but a Python automated machine learning tool, which optimizes the machine learning pipeline using genetic programming. And TPOT automates the most tedious part of machine learning by intelligently exploring thousands of possibilities of pipelines to find out the best one for your data. And that's where I selected TPOT AutoML classification. Okay, so I selected this model. I divided the data set into 80% and 20% as per the regular norms. And then I trained the data set or the TPOT where I got. So let me navigate you to the AI center. So this is UiPath's AI center, which you get on cloud.uipath.com. If you navigate to the stroke uh, prediction model, I have got the machine learning model deployed. I have already made a couple of predictions and you can see the pipeline. So I have got 70% of accuracy for the entire data set, uh, which I have trained. Obviously you have to massage a data a little bit before you actually train it on the TPOT model, which we will also look at in the upcoming video where I will show you the entire explanation of the bot creation right from scratch. 
So uh, before wasting time, so this is the AI center model, which is the stock prediction model, as you can see on screen. And uh, now we will jump on the second part of it. So this is the orchestrator. So in my orchestrator, as you can see, look at the tenant in the ML skill. You can see the ML skill is actually deployed, which is stock prediction, stroke prediction, sorry. So you can see a stroke prediction is actually deployed. It is available and it's a second version of it, okay? So I'm using TPOD AutoML classification second version, which is 2.0, which you have recently launched. And once you train it, it becomes 2.1 or the version that you train, okay? So, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, so without wasting time, let's have a look at what we did. So we trained this data set on AI center and we created this ML skill, which is a stroke prediction ML skill. Then with the help of UiPath, we created a workflow where we are actually taking out the data and then we are training the data and then we are identifying whether the person or we are taking the input from user and we are identifying whether the person is likely to have stroke or not. Then once I created the workflow, I simply published it. I deployed it on the orchestrator cloud. As you can see here in the automation, I have the process with the name of predicting stroke so once you deploy your process to the automation cloud, then let's navigate to UiPath apps. Now let me open UiPath apps, which is a low code app builder, where you can actually create applications of your own. So I integrated UiPath app with UiPath uh, AI center to achieve this particular uh, you know, use case, which uh, where I actually enjoyed a lot. So as you can see here, stroke prediction, so in this uh, code, if I if I just click on edit right now, so let me show you a very quick look at how it looks. So this is a, a entire low code app builder, how it looks where you actually do not have to code anything. You simply have to click on add new control. You click on input, you click on display and you drag directly whatever that value you need here. If you need a button, you can directly drag it here and you can utilize it. So this is how easy it works. Now, before wasting time, Let's navigate back and let's try to run this stroke prediction and let's look at the accuracy, how much accuracy that we get. So I'm going to run it right now. Uh, so this is how it looks when it runs. There's an entire form where it shows brain stroke prediction. Uh, it's asking for a couple of things such as gender, age, hypertension, uh, heart disease, marriage status, work type, residence type, average glucose level, body mass index, smoking status, uh, predict brain stroke possibility, brain stroke vulnerability, and the prediction confidence also we are going to get. So before we move ahead, I have taken out a small piece of the data out of the original data, and I have uh, you know designed a new data where I'm trying to test it, and I'm going to check what is the accuracy level of this particular app is going to be. So, I, so here we have the data. We have a couple of data, which is total six in number, okay? And we are going to randomly test the data. So this is the actual stroke, whether the person is likely to have a stroke or not. So this is the actual value. If you look at this, one means person is likely to have stroke and zero means person is not likely to have stroke. So we are going to call this as prediction and we are going to call this one as the accuracy in percentage, okay? So let's get started with testing. So first of all, we have data which is male. So as you can see here, I have also given in the UiPath apps, uh, the, the placeholder in the text boxes so you can identify what you have to enter. As the TPOD model only takes numerical data as an input, so I have to actually convert all the data into numerical values for the feature columns, and then I have to use them. So here you can see for gender male, so male is zero, so I will enter zero, then enter your age here, so age is 80, so let's enter the 80, then Hypertension, so if you have hypertension, enter one. If you don't have, enter zero, so we don't have, so zero. Heart disease, yes, one. This is a heart disease patient. And uh, if you look at this one, marriage status. So if married, yes. So if married, yes, click on one. Then work type, uh, private. So you can see here for children, it's zero. Government job, it's one. Never worked, private is three. Seven into three. Uh, for urban and rural residence type, so rural it's uh, zero, so I will enter zero. Then average glucose level, I will enter the data. The BMI value, I will enter the data. And last is the smoking status. So this person has never smoked, which is comes under the category of one, right? And uh, and let's go ahead and let's test it. So I'm going to click on the predict brain stroke. Now look at this. As soon as I click on the predict brain stroke possibility. 
the bot is running on my machine right now, which is connected to the local machine. And the bot is actually triggered on the UiPath orchestrator. Bot has now completed processing. And instead of the brainstorm vulnerability and the value, you see here the actual value. So bot has already predicted that this person is vulnerable to stroke with the accuracy of 88%. So yes, the prediction is exactly accurate. We wanted one and it is one. The accuracy is 88.8% as you can see on screen, right? So let's move on to the next data set. Now let's look at if person doesn't, uh, it's not likely to have a stroke. Let's look, let's take this data. We are going to take a random data. I'm just going to refresh this page again. So this is the UiPath apps, which I just refreshed. Now let's enter the data. So for female, it's one. So I'm going to enter it very fast here. Age is 37. Hypertension is one. Her disease, her disease is zero. Uh, so whether the person is married, yes, it, uh, she is married. Then what is the job? Self-employed. Self-employed is under the category of four. She lives in rural area. So it's zero. The average glucose value is this. The body mass index is this. And whether the person is Smoke, so never smoke. So it's under category of one. And let's check whether this person is likely to have brain stroke. According to the original data set, she is not likely to have brain stroke, but let's predict what our, uh, let's see what our bot predicts. Okay. So the robot is currently running right now, as you can see on screen. And bot is running the values. And we have the data not vulnerable to stroke with the accuracy of 68.67%. So Accuracy is exactly correct. So we till now have 100% accuracy with 68.67% overall. So let's take one more data from the stroke possibility. So let's refresh this and let's take a data for female. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is let's take this data set. Okay. So let's say female again, one, you know, age 81. So I'm just going to this here. Uh, hypertension, yes. Heart disease, no. Single, obviously not. Uh, children, or this one, private. Okay, so private job, three. Uh, rural, zero. Average glucose level, 80. BMI value, 29. And never smoke, so one. Okay, so I see that female, so there are one, two, female, and both have never smoked, so it is nice that actually uh, lowers the possibility of stroke. But here, uh, this lady has hypertension case. So she might be vulnerable to stroke and that is the prediction. So she's vulnerable to stroke with accuracy of 86%, okay, 86.22. So yes, vulnerable and 86.22%. Till now we again got the correct results. Now let's look at the next data set, let's take the last one, or let's take this one, okay? Uh, for the, let's take the fifth row. So the person is male, so the value is zero, the age is 57, the uh, hypertension is zero, heart disease is one, and uh, job is private. Okay, so married, yes, he is married. Job is private, so it is three. Our lives in rural area, again, so zero. Uh, the glucose value is 62.2, BMI value is 31, and the formula is smoke. Okay, formula is smoke, so this is like zero, okay? So let's click on predict brain stroke possibility. So this person, let's check the possibility, and the actual value is, if you look at this, the actual value is no. So this person is not vulnerable to brain stroke, but let's look at what our bot predicts, whether this person is predict, uh, you know, vulnerable to brain stroke or not. So here we go and correct. So this person is not vulnerable to stroke with the accuracy of 61.45, which is great. Again, accuracy is 100%. So uh, not I'm not talking about the machine learning accuracy, but the accuracy of predicting whether the person has vulnerable to uh, person is vulnerable to stroke or not. So 61.45, right? So which is great. Now let's look at. There are only two more data sets left and then we will come to the conclusion of it. So let's look at the data set of this one. So this guy is male, uh, zero, age is 69. Again, hypertension, zero, but yes, the, you know he has issue with the heart disease. Married, yes, uh, job, self-employed, so in the category of four, rural, sorry, it's, he lives in urban area, so one, uh, glucose value, Sorry, 
So glucose value is 195.23, BMI value 28.3, and smokes. Okay, so smokes comes under the category two, and then let's click on predict brain stroke possibility, and let's look at what happens. So actually, uh, the data set uh, shows that this person, where is it? Yeah, so data set shows that this person is vulnerable to stroke. Let's see what what predicts. Yes, he's vulnerable to stroke with the 92.56. So again, correct accuracy, 92.56% of accuracy. And the last data of the day. So this person is again male. Now let's look at this as kind of younger male. So zero, age is 27. Uh, the hypertension, no, doesn't have any heart disease though. Uh, marital status, no, so he's not married. And uh, the job is government job, so type one. Uh, lives in urban area, so one again. Glucose value is pretty decent. Uh, the BMI value is pretty decent. And formally slow, so zero. And let's predict. So this person is pretty clean, younger. So let's see what bot predicts whether this person has possibility of stroke or not. So based on the data set, we are predicting whether a person or people have the possibility or vulnerability to have stroke. So as you can see, it is not vulnerable to stroke with the 98.39%. That is the highest possibility of the percentage. So 98.39, which is wonderful. Now, if I take average of all this, so average of all this is around 82%. So overall 82, uh, let me see it again. So 82.68, okay. So overall 82.68% of accuracy by machine learning model and the predictions is 100% accurate, okay. So as you can see, we have 100% accurate prediction. This is the actual value and this is the predicted value. And we have machine learning model prediction of 82% overall for the six data. And this is great. So now we can actually predict whether a person has brain stroke or not based, based on, uh, you know, I mean, a person will face, uh, is, is vulnerable to brain stroke or not based on this, uh, this application. So I hope you have loved the video. You like the concept and uh, we are soon going to explore and we are going to reveal how I created this bot. But this is how wonderful use cases you can actually create with the integration of UiPath AI Center and UiPath apps. And definitely UiPath Cloud Enterprise uh, is being used here. So you have to take a trial of Cloud Enterprise in order to use that and you can actually create such wonderful use cases. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a great day. Uh, soon we will connect back on how we can create this particular use case and uh, we will take that video to you know, a deep uh, introduction and deep brief about that video. So uh, I hope you liked the video. Thank you so much for watching and happy automation.